to Quivin and Hydra going Mario and Palatine, respectively. Right. And they're going to be starting on Smashville. Already, both players getting their respective low percentage confirms off of each other. <laughs> Nobody wants to commit too much to center stage. They both um, just like sort of dancing and as of effect. That oh, spike God. is not going to be enough to take it quite yet. Still relatively low percentage. Spike Those is not strong enough. To take it. Fireballs. Really nice use of the fireballs um, as Quadine is landing. Just to be able to interrupt any sort of edge guard attempts from Palutena. Yep. Yeah, like, like normally Palutena can't really go for those two frame down tilts if there's like a fireball constantly up in your face like that. Yeah. It would be really controlling state. And so that grab sends him out and kills him. Mm -hmm. Just thing at 99% right now, Mario is going to be looking, you know, for the up smash kills. They're just like a really, really nice uh, ladder confirm at this percent. The up smash though, not able to take it quite yet, even on Smash Show. But at 134%, just about anything can take it at this point. There is so much pressure from that up, up smash, just charging it on your shield. Because if they try to jump and do an out of shield aerial, the up smash will hit. If they roll in, it'll hit. If they try to roll away, it could still get them. Like, that is one of the most terrifying situations to be in. Ah, uh, Quivine burning his double uh, jump, but still able to land quite successfully. Really good use of his cape though to reflect the explosive flame and just like make sure that uh, it's not going to be something for him to worry about. But he's going to get two flame by the down tilt multiple times and he used the fireball to be positive on block. Um, as he uh, comes down on, on Hydra's shield. Not able to uh, find any of these falling up air confirms. Maybe he needs something more active like an air instead of the up. But able to finally get the down tilt into the back air. And now this is a super good lead for Hydra right now. Yeah. Calls him out on the ground. It seems like most of this game is actually just being played and Quiggy trying to get back onto stage and Hadju controlling the edge so, so well. Yeah. And he's starting his ladder combo just a little bit. But uh, not able to find the follow up on it, catching the high recovery with the fail. And right now, Quivine has brought this back into the realm of possibility for himself. Mm -hmm. He just has to find a way to get back on, taping preemptively just in case uh, Hydra were to throw out the explosive flame there. Hydra really desperate to get, throw Quivine off stage, over committing to that dash grab. I don't think he has a double jump. Yep. Oh, he's he, gone. He might have been able to live that. Or at least had a chance to get back onto stage. Had it not been through these. Ooh, bro. PS2. Yep, they're going to be going to PS2. Um, again, I feel like this is a stage that really benefits the both of them. Uh, because of the fact that Hydra was so close to the edge of the stage, he wasn't able to continue the nail links. Uh, he just had to finish it with a four day. But uh, I have seen it's still possible from that point to replace you now, to try to maybe do a guard now, and you might be able to continue the combo in the other direction. Just yeah. something to keep in mind. Ooh, try to go forwarder to not connect correctly. Quivine's positioning was super, super good just to be able to catch. Uh, he positioned himself really well, like anticipating Hydra to teleport onto stage rather than go on to do. Uh, Onto the edge of the stage and gonna be punished for this gets F smash. I'm just down, not quite catch. Yeah. 
Hydra is just struggling to land for the longest time. Stuck in the corner and almost getting spiked again, being caught in that mid air teleport. I really like that Hydra is like not even trying to. He's just trying to reset neutral as quick as possible. Yeah. But Quivine has like consistently like shown that he is ready to call out those uh, really aggressive teleports. Mm -hmm. Like again, Quivine positioned himself perfectly for it, but he's just a couple of frames too late. Getting the down throw back is. Yeah, you have to be really careful of uh, with middle moves like that F tilt when they're active so long like that. Um, you know, just gives gives Queen ample opportunity to be able to punish it. And that explosive going to reset the uh, the stock count and showing off a little bit with the canoeing thing. <laughs> a couple of flashy teleport cancels. Starting off the game on the butt, I think those make his way around. That was a performance. Again, like again, Hydra is in the, the edge of the definitely couldn't be bit of the up smash you got like the um up smash as it was going down, because otherwise that would have definitely killed. He had the good idea. And that's gonna be the good up smash if you take this up. Going for the forward it doesn't quite connect. Really good F smash as well, just dancing around uh, Quivinde. This is definitely Hydra's stop to take that up Ooh. so long and thick position to be hit with that up. It's definitely the last place you want to be without your double jump uh, on top of Palutena like that. Quivinde's looking for that early teleport cape kill just like that. Interesting choice to go for up smash there. I'm not sure if that's what Hydra wanted to go for. Hmm. This is not looking good for Kovin. He's kind of like stuck in a corner, but yeah, this is the game has started to like snowball away from him. Absolutely. But finally, able to get some really good hits. Already three aerials off, and this is a very very even game. Whoever like gets like the next like big hit and able to knock people off the stage is probably going to be the one to take it, and mm -hmm. that's going to be the down throw. Trying to get the tech chase on the tech in. Mm -hmm. Maybe he need a little bit more horizontal drift to be able to catch both the tech in and the tech in place. And that's going to be the back hit. <clears throat> and a very convincing 2-0 from 